How is the Hudson? You been in? <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. It's maybe to come. It looks uh, uh, maybe one day, but no, I'll get to that. <laughs> no, we're going to get to that now because I need, I, I need to be my first question. Now, somebody told me that you jump in the River Kelvin because Paul the Tim was chasing you for a selfie. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> I did jump in it off my own back, but it wasn't uh, because of Paul the Tim. But um, what happened? <sighs> what a night, by the way. Steaming. Ah, uh, oh, steaming. Yeah, uh-huh. steaming. But um, no, it's just we'd. Uh, do you want the full story? Go for it. Come on. That'd be the full interview. Um, so, thank you. <laughs> we'd played um, a game against Partick Thistle for Aberdeen away. That uh, is enough to make you jump in the river, kill uh, uh, <laughs> Thistle away, dearie me. <laughs> I actually didn't play, which is maybe a good thing for later. I had the energy. Um, we didn't play, but the boys won, like, good night, and I had, like, a flat party after arranged back. I had a flat in the West End. Um, so, like, a few of the boys from the team came back, and I had a, lo- I had a lot of friends, a lot of... All right, so you've got a lot of friends, all right, yeah. A lot, of, um, a lot of people were there. It was a big party, a great night. And drinks were flowing. There was some punts. I made a punch, and it was, yeah, it was like rocket fuel. It was, it was. Everyone was having a good time, but it was, it was a laugh. But anyway, we had a place in Sanctuary Table, um, the club in the West End, and went, and um, yeah, then the night was continuing. I was having a good time, and. Just, I remember being in Sanctuary and going to the bar to get um, another round of drinks. And just at the bar, just about to order, I can't remember, whatever, Jaeger bombs, whatever. And just this hook came round and hit me in the side of the head. Uh, but it was one of them through a crowd of people, like it hit me, but it wasn't like. So I turned round and then kind of, there was a big kind of scuffle on my lee, but I had like with friends, so there was loads of people, so it wasn't like a big fight, but the bouncer or one of the security guys, actually a guy who kind of sorted out my table and like I knew him, was kind of just got me out of the way. Um, was like, oh no, like for my own good really, because yeah. obviously like I wouldn't have had much chance in a fight anyway, but it didn't look good fighting um, stuff. So it was like, no, get out. And like me and a few other boys, and my girlfriend, like loads of us got thrown out back door just because like, you need to get out of here kind of thing. And having been a great night, I was raging. I was like, the hell I'm getting thrown out for blah, blah, blah. But it was for my own good, obviously, like it was, it was late anyway. Um, so anyway, I'm at the back door and like, we're just kind of like thinking, Jeez, how, how did a night turn? Like, just thrown out like that over nothing, like, wasn't our fault, blah, blah, blah. But I just walked across the street and kind of jumped this wall. It was like new, I'd never been out the back door, obviously. And it was... The back door from... You've been to a few back doors, but not that sort of one. Not that back door in Sanctuary, aye. And, um, yeah, it's just, like, leapt over a wall. It was the first one, and, uh, <laughs> like, I fell a bit and just landed in the river. And... Um, and obviously, like, I was, I had a few drinks, I had a good fill, but I wasn't, like, as soon as I got in the river, I was, like, like, sobered straight up, like, and just being like, Jesus, I'm, I'm in the fucking river, like, how can the night go from being a laugh to being fucking in the river? But anyway, it wasn't, like, it was up to my, I want to see my waist. Yeah, it was my waist, and, but it was a laugh at that point. Yeah. Like, I'd, like, I was still talking to my mates, and I actually took my top off then and was like, like, it was a laugh, but I slipped. It was really slippy on, like, all these stones and that. And I, I just remember trying to move, I slipped back. And then I, like, obviously went further into the river, and these rapids just caught me. Wow. And, yeah, went shooting down the river. And, it was one of them where I was like, but still in my head, or I can remember it so clear. Um, it wasn't like, oh, Jesus, I'm in the river. Fuck, like, I'm getting swept down the river. <laughs> I remember getting swept under like a bridge. And they, these rapids, I remember like swept down, but my feet were like kind of in front of me like this. I'm like, I was like this. And I, was going, I was going under, like it was fast flowing. But I remember in my head thinking, 
like kind of still laughing about it, like thinking, Jesus Christ, like I was in the river, that's one thing, now I'm getting Fun away, away. Yeah. Um and the sides like were I remember looking and think, fuck, I need to like I have no idea where I am now. I'm like getting taken away. And the sides were like, you couldn't get out of the sides if you know what so I was like, well, I need to keep in here till I find a place where, you know, I can I can get myself out. <laughs> and uh yeah, so did Jeez. you have a did you have a piss in the river? Did, did you have a piss? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> it was the other thing that came in. Enough for that piss in there. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was I was down the river, and obviously my mates like seen me like get like laugh and think, guys, get out the fucking river, like to start with. And I was like, that's when it was a joke. But when they saw me getting swept away, then obviously it got serious for uh. them because they're thinking, like it just like saw me and. <laughs> It was like, it was like being in River Rapids at like a water park or something. So did you need to go to the hospital? Um, I did have to go to the hospital. Did you know wake up and you were at a golf course? Mm. Aye, so um, yeah, I got swept down. I was in there for 50 minutes. 50? 50, aye, because I remember stopping. That's longer than you usually play. <laughs> you only like half time, aren't you? It's longer than my warm up at Partick <laughs> earlier. Um, I think it was due that I didn't play, I probably had the energy, but anyway, I, um, 50 minutes, I remember getting stopped at place. Not the side, but I was like, kind of on all fours. And then I remember a police boat kind of plucking me out. Okay. Uh, I Because I think it, possibly Stu Armstrong was one of the mates. Well, there's a lot of my mates, but I think he phoned, obviously, like if I was, if I saw someone go, I'd go straight in after them. Stu, I don't think what I'd get is Russell and Brown. Uh, 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 yeah, he didn't know what I'd get his. <laughs> So, but yeah, for them, they saw me thinking the worst, like they phoned and all the like emergency services came out, like it was kind of a big thing. But yeah, the police boat came, came plucked me out and I went to the hospital because I did have mild hypothermia. Wow. Um, so I remember I've been in the hospital and uh, like even in my head, I'm thinking, Jesus, like this is ridiculous. Like I'm not like, <sighs> worried or thinking oh my god this is so dangerous it was it was a lot like for, and for me like for my friends and all that like i kind of feel i can see their point of view now like it was a worse night because they had to go and give statements to the police and oh, really, right? it was like a couple hours before they they knew i was in the hospital and like being found or plucked out fished out and uh but yeah i'm in the hospital so i'm on a drip blah 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 and this is like i don't know what time like must have been six, seven in the morning. I'm like, like warmed up and I'm in a bed, I'm all cozy, I'm on like all these trips. Uh, and by this point, my girlfriend's in, in the room, um, like in the, the ward, like with me in the corner. But she's not allowed to tell me anything because I've got to like work out for myself. Like in order for me to have been like released from the hospital, I needed to like kind of show I was fine. Oh, you knew what was happening right ahead. So I remember the nurse and this is what I remember so clearly. The nurse came in about six or seven, like, like, oh, we can like, all the checks are good, blah, blah, blah. You're all like warmed up now. Um, you just, you can go, you just need to like, tell me where you are. And I remember like, um, just going, yeah, the golf course. <laughs> and um, the nurse was like, no, no, um, look around you. you. You're not at the golf course. <laughs> Um, look around so I remember like I had the duvet right up here and I had like tinfoil under like totally to warm up anyway I'm looking around see my bag see monitors um, like wires like a hotel ward like a big ward like I remember like grey thing and I'm like yeah the golf course and she's like oh no you're, you're not at the golf course I'll come back I'll give you half an hour just just take your time, look around and all that. And so she goes out yeah. and uh, like my girlfriend's like, like Gary, look, look around you. You're not at the golf course. <laughs> but she couldn't say too much rage and she's had the worst <laughs> night, like just one home. And I'm like, like, what are you on about? Like the nurse is at it. Like, I'm like totally looking around. She can see all my ward, like remember this so vividly. I'm like, this is bizarre. Like I want home now as well, because I'm like, I'm, I'm at the golf course. Anyway, like half an hour passes, nurse comes back and it's like, oh, how are you feeling now? I'm like, yeah, good. Um, uh, she's like, yeah, right, where are you? And I'm like, 
Bear in mind, I've been at Aberdeen by this point about a couple of months. Yeah. Um, she's like, yeah, do you know where you are yet? I'm like, yep, Union Street. No, you know. Union Street in Aberdeen, the main street. She's like, no, you're not at Union Street. And I went, I know, I'm at the fucking golf course. <laughs> That's decent for you. So, but in my head, like, as well. So, again, it, it went in uh, for a little bit. And I think I must have, like, I don't remember coming around, like, because I didn't say I was at the hospital, but I got let out shortly after. And <laughs> I remember getting home into my flat like this is obviously the next day I feel brand new no hangover yeah. because of what the drip and all that and a lot of my mates were staying at my flat obviously I was with my missus at that time like came into the flat and I'm bound down like kind of want to go for breakfast like, I'm like what a night that was like, I'd say <laughs> Jesus imagine that came out in the press nightmare and uh, and it wasn't that night like that night uh, like it, it was Sunday night like an article came out but didn't name it it was like man Jumps in the kill over Kelvin. Yeah, uh, man jumps in the kill and didn't name me. I was like, oh, it's not too bad. It's all right. Like, get away with that. And then the next day, the Monday. It's massive, wasn't it? It blew up some serious. And, but it was international break. So it was uh, like we had a week off. So, and obviously I had no phone. My phone was kaput. Aye. And uh, yeah, it was a bit crazy then. The oh. boys putting pictures in between us in their canoe, putting your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I got to Aberdeen, oh, there was all sorts. To this day, like, and then, yeah, there's a picture of them between us when they're in, in the canoe, and Stu was the, the guy, ra like, I'm in the back with a towel on with my face, and Stu's at the front raging. <laughs> you know, it was oh, hilarious. 